God says every human being is my representative. And so we are called to love every person with giving that person the dignity, the love, the care that a God carrier deserves. This Holy Monday, we are in Anawim. Anawim is a Hebrew word which means the poor of the Lord. And almost 30 years ago, we started this home for the abandoned elderly, where we pick up lolos and lolas, abandoned by their families, abandoned by their relatives, abandoned by their own children. And we house them here and we care for them and we love them. And it's been such a joy. Now, this place is incredibly beautiful. I mean, just we just wanted them to experience a little taste of the Garden of Eden. Now, I want you to know this. There are some people who actually say, Oh, Brother Bo, baka naman masyadong maganda yung anawim. You know, because when they visit other places, they say, Pwede na yan. You know, pwede na. I made a decision. We made a decision. No, we want to give whatever we can afford to make this a better place for them. Let me tell you why. And in answering that question, I'm going to answer a bigger question. Why do we give to the poor? It all starts in the book of Genesis. It all starts there. When God says, I will make man in my own image and likeness. Now, once upon a time, that only referred to kings. Kings were representatives of God and everyone else, no. But the, the book of Genesis was so revolutionary. It says, no, every human being, man, woman, rich, poor, powerful, not powerful. People who are doing okay and people who are going through the messes of life. My dear friend, when you see a poor person, that person is a God representative. Every time you see a handicapped person, a deaf, a blind, a mute, a lame person, when you see someone who is mentally handicapped, you know, that person is, is not able to do the things that you can. And, you know, the temptation is to look down at them. God says you can't. God says every human being is my representative. And so we are called to love every person with giving that person the dignity, the love, the care that a God carrier deserves. It blows your mind when you understand that, that, ah, yes, we are all equal, deserving the love and the dignity that a God carrier deserves. My dear friend, I want you to think of the people around you Think of those who are suffering. Think of those who are disadvantaged. Think of those who are not enjoying what you are enjoying now. And make a decision and say, Lord God, help me. Help me to be a blessing to these people because they are your representatives on earth.